What's up everybody, it's Mushi here, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a qu quite an interesting video that I don't think many people have made on and that I've aced on in a way. So basically this was a school project originally, but I think I wanted to make this into a video because in my opinion it was so successful that a lot of people will like this. So basically, I won't tell you the title yet. I'll tell you at the, at the end, okay? That how you, every single essay, how you like write an essay as a presentation or like an oral presentation, okay? So what is it about? Won't tell you yet. But before I start the video, as you can see over here, only 3% of everybody on the channel that watches me are subscribed. If you guys could please hit the subscribe button, that'd be greatly appreciated. It doesn't cost you anything and it will guarantee you good luck. <laughs> oh my god, this is like a 2018. Anywho, so yeah, if you guys could again, please subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, leave a like, dislike if you if you like the video. If you dislike it, I don't care. Uh, I don't really mind, but yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated. And of course, go ahead, comment uh, any uh, opinion on the video, what you think of it. If you if I can do anything better, if you disagree with the term that of what I'm going to be talking about, and etc. So we've done the introduction. Hello, everybody. So we've done the introduction. Okay, fantastic. So now we can start with the actual video. So my topic that I'll be discussing today is: Is Minecraft educational or not? So when I did this presentation. I, it was supposed to be originally a TED talk that I was going to do in class as a... It was like a homework, but also like a test in a way. And it was basically where we had to like record our screen and have a webcam. And we had to talk about a topic that we found very interesting and that we could express our emotion towards. And I aced this. Ace plus it, okay? I got a 20 out of 20 on this test. So yeah. And I'm really passionate about Minecraft because I've been playing it for well over seven years or what however long i've been playing it so anywho minecraft education or not that's the topic they'll be discussing today so everybody to start off with the video of course i've already done like a five minute introduction but to start off with my name is gabriel gibman that's my name and i'm a part of mushi I'm a professional singer, and I create videos on YouTube, such as this one. I'm a gamer, I stream, I'm, I used to play Fortnite, play Minecraft, and mo for most of my free time now. I make videos and stream, obviously, Minecraft. In my videos and streams, I get comments asking me, why do you play this game? Or, is Minecraft good for you? So, I thought, is Minecraft education or not? <coughs> 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 So, before I get into my rant about Minecraft, let me explain what Minecraft is. I'm pretty sure most of you know what Minecraft is, but I'll do it anyway for the, the audience that doesn't know what Minecraft is. Minecraft is a sandbox video game developed by Mojang. The game was created by Marcus Pearson in the Java programming language. Java programming language is, you know, it's type of coding, you know, for the nerds, you know, that I don't know how to code, by the way, but for the people that, you know, know how to code. <laughs> Absolutely not me. I, you know, I just play the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no. Alright. Following several early test versions, it was released as a paid public alpha for personal computers in 2009 before releasing the game in 2011, November. November 2011. How do you say 2011? Whatever. Over 200 million copies were sold of this game in four years. So, in however many days, okay, 365 times four. Over 200 million copies were sold of this game in four years. So however many bloody days that is. 365 times four. Wherever the hell that is. Right here. <laughs> I am so bad at uh, uh, maths, you know. Two weeks ahead. Anywho, Mojang decided to create a type of Minecraft for China. Minecraft China, that's what it's called. 
and 2017 it was released in Minecraft in China. 300 million copies were sold. 300 million. Can you believe 300 million copies were sold? That is insane. 300 million copies sold in two years. Two. Two. That is so many. <laughs> Anyways, 500 million copies in six years. That's crazy, right? Anywho, from 2016 to 2020, Minecraft has racked up a whopping 597 billion hours of playtime globally, which is 68.22 million years, which basically is the time of going back to dinosaurs. We can legit go back in time of dinosaurs, the amount of bloody time this game has been played. It's crazy, right? Minecraft is one of the most best selling games, okay? In 2020, GTA 5 sold in total from all the past years it's been released, GTA 5, 150 million copies. Tetris, from all of its years of being released, one of the best games, the best music, okay? 100 million copies. Minecraft, 500 million copies. 500 million. Yeah, that's a lot, right? So there's another different type of Minecraft. It's called Minecraft Education. This uh, type of version was, this version was specifically made for kids to uh, play Minecraft at school, but like in an educational way. For example, Mojang uh, hired uh, people to build, so builders in Minecraft to build like geography, geography. Merging hired people and uh, merging hired builders in Mi Minecraft builders to build stuff in like the, the game, right? So like let's say Brazil, Rio, okay? You know where Rio is, Brazil. Here's here, here it is, okay? Brazil. Uh, to build a jungle, for example, etc. And uh, it was used to help kids fit to understand what type of place they're learning about in geography, for example. Uh, it also has a lot of features like history and stuff like that, and it's, it's pretty cool. But for real, Minecraft Education was originally created for kids to learn in class, as I've said already. It also allows students and teachers to have fun, but also learn. Here are some statistical proof that Minecraft Education works. 98% of teachers surveyed cited problem solving as a top skill their students learn from Minecraft. 80% of students learning with Minecraft use coding to advance their higher levels. 71% of teachers using digital game reported improving the student numeracy and, and computational thing. More than 115 countries use Minecraft education. Here's a quote that I found very interesting and also agree with. Games can be completely engaging. I see my students get better and better with writing and communication and working with others as a team. John Miller, a middle school English teacher in California, in the United States. There is a reason why kids love Minecraft and find it interesting, fun, and enjoyable. Minecraft teaches you problem solving, coding, spatial awareness, math, independence, and collaboration. And of course, the main part, typing. The reason why typing is the main part is because in order to communicate with someone in the game, you'd have to press T, which is the command to start the chat, to open up the chat, and you can type whatever you want. Everything I listed has something to do with education, right? Minecraft is an incredible variety of game that allows for creativity, play, whilst introducing its users to a number of different concepts, including coding. Now, Minecraft is not only good for education at home and school, but it's also amazing for education to autistic kids. A guy by the name of Stuart Duncan created a Minecraft server called Autocraft. Autocraft is basically a server that is basically whitelisted. Whitelisted means where you can, no one else can join unless you give them permission. And Autocraft is basically a server where Stuart Duncan, uh, he lets them join the server so that they had a non-toxic environment, non -harass no harassment towards them no abuse no verbal abuse just to have fun with each other and what he also did was he also let the kindest people of the community to also join so as you can see on the screen right now there is that is their website and you can see that they have like an application uh, form for people to be able to join and it takes two weeks to like get a response because of how many people are applying because it's such a great concept so Stuart Duncan which is an amazing guy here's a here's a photo of him he decided to do this and he's helped a lot of people when I say a lot I mean a crap ton of people he is very well known he made a TED talk by the way here's an image of him in a TED talk right here okay he did this as a TED talk he talked about Minecraft and he talked about his server which is bloody crazy so to conclude this presentation Minecraft is most certainly one of the best one of the most educational games you can get and of course 
also one of the most selling games. Minecraft encourages students to learn, write, create, explore, cooperate, and most importantly, learn how to be polite to one another and communicate with each other. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my rant about Minecraft. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is Minecraft educational or not? In my opinion, it most certainly is. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys did enjoy it. This did take me about 12 hours to do when I was doing it for school. But look, I, f I found this topic very interesting and I hope you guys did too. I know a lot of my audi audience is young and a lot of you guys obviously play Minecraft because, I mean, who doesn't have Minecraft in 2021 anymore? I mean, it's, it's on every single device. It's even out on phones. It's on Xbox. It's everywhere. So yeah, I think I love Minecraft. I love I loved making this video. I love talking about Minecraft. It, it was very fun. So if you guys did really enjoy it and you guys do want to see this type of content in the future, I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. Also, guys, thank you guys so much for the recent support. Uh, we've been getting so many more subscribers, and it's kind of crazy, in my opinion. So, I do really appreciate it. So, yeah, please leave a like or a dislike. If you liked the video or you didn't, I don't care. And also, please let me know in the comments what you think of the video. If you agree with me that Minecraft is educational or not. And if you have anything to add about my editing, that'd be greatly appreciated. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy it again. And I'll hope to see you guys again on the channel. Peace. Also, please hit the bell.